Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We just finished with our second case. We were defending Maya Faye, the sister of Mia Faye. We found out that the girl that was in the hotel that witnessed the murder was actually checking in with somebody. We're about to find out who that is right now. If you guys are cool with that, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. September 7, 3.11 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, no. We're coming to see her? Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May! No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked! Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Examine, move, talk, present. Okay, let me examine some things. No clues here. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna talk. That man, the wiretap, your attitude, yeah, you got some big old tune, and you need to take it down a couple notches, but let's talk about that man. About that man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Okay. Hold on. I know what to do. The wiretap, baby. Show it to her. Come on. Show it to her. Just give her a little tappy. Fine. We're going to talk about the wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. You know what? We're just gonna wrap it up with that attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer! B -b bottom I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Okay, we gotta get out of here because that face is not cutting it. I'm gonna see that in my nightmares tonight. We're gonna present her with the wire tap, the tap 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 a rule. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Okay, can I not show her that? What can I show her? The cell phone? The cellular device? Oh, she's not going to cooperate. Okay, we're going to back up real quick, guys. We're going to move right now. We are going to go to Gatewater Hotel, and maybe we're going to run into that guy. September 7, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh, uh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Uh, I'd like you to move a couple steps to the left so I can do what I need to do as a lawyer. I'm gonna examine the room. And let's do this one more time. Examine the glass. Nice weather again today. I can see the Fay and Co. law offices, of course. Ah, uh, yes. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you the three minutes of a view to a kill. J just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, ho, ho. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't think I'm doing anything good in here. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Oh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror. Hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Guys, we gotta get out of here, man. Everybody in this game is batshit crazy. Can I present him with anything? The wiretap. Actually, no. This guy is weird. He's probably going to take it from me. He's probably going to stick it up my butthole. I'm getting out of here. We're going to move. 
And let's go to Grossberg. September 7, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Uh, wait, actually, what is that? There was something on the desk. Hold up. What is that? It's a picture. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident, Exhibit A. DL6 Incident, Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Okay, let's check Exhibit A. Who the hell is you, baby girl? I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. On the back, the words DL6 Incident Exhibit A are written in pencil. You know what? That might be Mia and Maya's mom. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Swap photos, leave it alone. Wait, hold on. That guy looked like a doucher. Like maximum douches. Look at that face. On the back, the words DL6 Incident Exhibit B are written in pencil. You know what? I know what to do. It's you again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Yeah, and you got spiky nipples, Miss May. Not that I ever want to see them. But let's give her the photo of this doucher right over here. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof? Show me proof. I'm so close. I'm so freaking close. I'm so stinking close. I could smell it. Oh, it smells like justice. I don't think that I give her anything else. I gave her the picture, and then she had her reaction, but then that's about it. So I think I got to go back and swap the photos, and then let me bring it to her. I don't know why I can't just take both photos. Come on, Phoenix. You have two hands. Grab both photos. Okay, so I'm going to swap photos. And then now I have the photo of that fine old honey over there. So we're going to move soldier, move back to the detention center. And then we are going to present you with this and see what you think about that. Any thoughts about this photograph? Who's that? Your mother? Ugh. Looks like I've just been wasting my time. Okay. You know what? I think that's Mia and Maya's mother. So how do I talk to Maya? Guard? Guard, please. Can I see somebody else? No? Okay. Uh, I'm going to move again. Let's go to Fan Co. Law Offices. Let's see who's over here. September 7, Fay & Co. Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Okay. Let's examine things. Let me see if I was missing something. I gotta be missing something, right? You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the Chief worked on are filed here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Nah, no you're not. You wouldn't have said that if it weren't true. Okay, let me move. No, how do I move from side to side, man? I want to do the cha-cha to the other side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back to Gatewater. And then let me present this guy with the photo as well. Well, not of this lady, but you know what? Maybe he might know her. What about this photo? Well, it's a fine photo, sir. However, the person Miss May was accompanied by was, well, a man. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So, it's definitely that guy. Wait, you know what I just realized? The painting is gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... Sunflowers, Marvin Grossberg, Fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Yeah, but who stole that? Was it worth any money? It had to have been at least worth Taco Bell or something. Because, man, that sounds good right now. Wait, why am I going back here? I'm not trying to see you milk jugs. I'm trying to see the bellboy. The cute bellboy. Go back to Gatewater. And right over here. Bam! Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. 
Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Wait, did I start giving him an Australian accent? When did that happen? You're British, man. You're a British bellboy, and I'm going to give you that accent. Stop arguing with me. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it, turn him down. Hold on, what is even an affidavit? I'm scared. Hold on, I gotta look it up. Okay, so an affidavit is a written statement confirmed by oath or affirmation for use as evidence in court. Why not? Have him write it. Give me that. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Describes the man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. But can we trust an eyewitness's account? Can we trust that? Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Oh yeah, so now we gotta go back to that detention center. Why do I keep doing that? And there's no way that she can argue with this because we have an affidavit. Right here. Give me some. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears or push her hard? Yeah, we're gonna push her to the limit. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <laughs> Oh, fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? April? April, May? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him! Time to take action! Bellboy's affidavit discarded. Why? I need that! I might need that! Okay, can I talk to you? Oh, we don't want to talk about your attitude. So I guess we can go to Blue Corp now. There we go. Alright, so here we go. Oh, and the painting's there! The one of the fishermen! What in the tarnation is going on here? What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with your tile of personage! What the? Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title you go by! Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? That's exactly what I said in my brain. But I tried to make it seem like I was smart, so I acted like I knew what that word even was. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant test vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Okay, I guess we gotta have a little talk with this guy. We're gonna talk about Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Secretariat, man. I want to slap this guy in the face ten times. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. 
what she has done. You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Are you sure you weren't tapping her yourself? She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the Murder or Blue Corp? Yeah, where was this guy the night of the murder? Getting his hair dyed purple? On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as a time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Yeah, how could you forget a face like that? No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho. The police. The courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Okay, let's talk about that painting since it was in the Grossberg Law Offices. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer. No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grotty Burger. What? Ugh. Whoa, am I getting slapped? Ugh. Ugh. He, he punched me. What do I do now? Do I call the police on my cute little pink cell phone? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grotty Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossburgs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. There is nothing more to discuss? What about Blue Corp? Would you be kind enough to seize your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in a language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Okay, you know what? There's nothing more to see here, guys. I'm actually going to go back to Grossberg's law offices. And let me see if he's there. Oh, he is there. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumpy Jehoshaphat! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Let's talk to him. Today's trial, your refusal, Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting, the photo of Mr. White, why wouldn't you defend Maya? That's what I want to know. I thought it was strange. Here was Maya, your own apprentice's little sister, in desperate need. Accused of killing her own sister, no less, and you wouldn't take the case. I finally realized why. You and Red White are connected. He's your boss, blackmailing you, your lover. Whoa, I don't want to know about Grossberg's gross mustache all over Mr. White's asshole. So I'm going to say that he's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. 
It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? God damn! All because the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of these photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Today's trial, your refusal, the DL6 incident, reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White had heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay, that's good to know. What about today's trial? So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see? Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Okay, your refusal, do we really care? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right? Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. I, I just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Okay, we're getting out of here. We are moving right now because we got to move fast. We're going to go back to Fanco. And it's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Okay, he said there were some files missing, like right here. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? File A I J S T Z. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Q, R, S. Okay, right there, J through S. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this? Skim. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end in S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Okay, what else, what else, what else? What else we got over here? We don't have anything. So, do I leave? Because I can't really check anything else out. Let me go back to Grossberg. Let me present this sad sack of balls with the article. Let's see what he says about this. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red Wyatt, as I expected? Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Okay, so we have at least one strong piece of evidence, kinda. It does say white on top of the article clipping. Well, what else can we do? Can we talk to you about anything else? The DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. 
I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye! Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of her wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. Okay, so let me show him something. Let me show him Mia's mom. Do I not have that picture? I only have a picture of this guy. What are you going to say about him? Sorry, sir. I borrowed this. Ah, oh, so it was you, my boy. Who is this man? Um, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. He doesn't want to talk about it for some reason. I better give him back this photograph. Photograph returned to Mr. Grossberg. What if I kept it? Then what? Can I keep it on my nightstand at night? Okay, where am I going now, guys? Where am I going? Do we go back to the detention center? Let me see. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. What about, um, freaking... What's her face? Maya Faye. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Okay, but we are going to present you with this. What you got to say about that, big boy? This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You bribed him, you spied on him, you blackmailed him. I think you blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you! Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor! I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they may even make you look competent. I... I feel faint. 
Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Butts! Harry Butts! Right, actually, Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right! Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. There's no freaking way. There's like no evidence. Not even one tiny little baby dick speck of evidence. September 8, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. There's no way. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes? It's all thanks to you. Ha, <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother? My sister? And now you! This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Defend me in court, cheer me on in court, help me break out of here! Yeah, you got like a fork and a spoon, we can dig our way out of ourselves. Defend me in court, of course! Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright! Huh? Leave it to me! I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. <laughs> we are so screwed! Wait! Wait, wait, wait! What, what, what? I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change. Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Oh, I can't wait for that, guys. To be continued. All right. So you know that we got a spicy trial tomorrow. It's right versus white. If you guys want to see that as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>